YouTube, what's up, man? I'm back again. You're now tuned in to how the fuck I'm gonna lose. The reason why I chose that name and subscribe to the channel, people, because I'm I'm here to help y'all. I chose that name because I feel like how the fuck I'm gonna lose in life, you know? There's no way for me to lose. Only way for me to lose and for you to lose if you put that in your mindset that you're gonna lose. We never gonna lose, man. So how the fuck I'm gonna lose? Subscribe to the channel. Let's get to what we're gonna Let's get to what we have to talk to. Let's get to the business, man. Listen, I just calculated. I calculate every month, right? Income and expenses. Income and expenses. So I calculate uh, how much I'm spending in a month and how much I'm making a month. That is a very important thing you have to do if you want to save money, if you don't never want to be broke. You have to see where your money is going. Once you see where your money is going, now you can start eliminating things that you're doing. Look where we at, man. This is just, we got two months left. Look where I'm at for the year. There's no cap. Y'all see that? I'm at $100,012. I don't got a cap. This, this right here, this is my expenses book right here. I got this book basically every day. As you can see, every day, I don't know if y'all can see it right here. Every day, like daily, I write down how much money I make from each of my incomes. My main source of income is my party rental business. If you're interested in party rental businesses, it's a great opportunity to get money. It's an underrated business. I suggest you go watch my other videos, how to make thousands weekly renting out Walmart tables and then go to how to make thousands renting out um tents and all that information is accurate out of that hundred thousand i'm gonna say 90 percent is that from my party rental business my party rental business so if you want to know how to not go broke you have to track your expenses this is what i got i buy a book i got this book from amazon you have to track your expenses you have to track how much you make and some people man some of y'all because you per, i'm probably i'm pretty sure you're watching this um because you probably want to know how to save money and how to never be broke you get your paycheck I don't, I don't i don't know what people do to be honest i know what i do so you get your paycheck you you probably look at uh your gross your net net whatever anything i didn't have a paycheck in a long time so i forgot how to uh the format of it set up but you get your check and then you just start spending. Then you just start spending. Now you like, you check your bank account. You're like, yo, where my money went? Where my money went? That's why you track your expenses, your expenses. Now in this book right here, I have, this is like to show me uh, how much money I make every day because I'm more of a self-employed. I really don't have a job. I do work jobs like right now, my business is slow, so I'm gonna have to get a job. So once I get all these numbers at the end of the month, I go to my red book right here. I go to my red book and then I create, um, like I have April, I create each month of spending. So I put April and I put like my bills, how much I spend on bills. I put my gas, how much I spend on gas, my food, like buying out, how much I spend buying out, um, miscellaneous stuff how much I pay in debt each month, my investments, how much I spend on my kids each month, my repair of my vehicles, my, my subscriptions, my groceries, and then like home items, I put that together, drinks in the bars, which I freaking hate. That's, you gotta get the drinks in the bars. All them drinking and smoking if you smoke, drinking if you do any other things, that gotta be cut out if you wanna save some money, for sure. Certain subscriptions gotta be cut out for sure. Um, food, buying out gotta be cut out for sure. Um, and then once I do that, I put my total spending. Like in the month of April, I'm, I spent $5,947. And then in the month of April, I made $6,034. So it wasn't really too much of a difference. I made a gain of $87. But a gain is always a good thing. That wasn't too much of a difference. Um, like, 
I basically spent everything I made, but at least I'm tracking it. You feel me? Like you, you gotta track your income and you gotta see where your money going. Like uh, the month of May, I spent, listen to it, I, I be spending a lot of money. And it's not like uh, I don't spend it on bad stuff because on debt, I spent $2,382. Like I said, I'm self-employed, I run a business. So I use my credit card and credit to basically get a lot of my items and I had to pay it back. So for the month of May, I spent $8,724, but I made $10,765. So I gained a total of $2,041. So that's good. So the moral of the story is if you want to never be broke and you want to start saving money, figure out ways to save, my advice to you, um, track your income. That's very important. Track your income. Once you track your income, now you know where your money's spent. Now you know where you're spending your money. So now you could go back like, okay, um, I'm not going to do this this month. I'm going to tone it down. Like some people get their paycheck. Every time they get paid, they go get some sneakers which I don't understand. Like back then when I was a child, 25, 25 and under, every time they get paid, they go get some clothes. Every time they get paid, they go to the bar. Every time. Now you're like, where my money at? Now you don't have no money. You don't have no savings. Another method, because I didn't speak about savings. If you never want to go broke, you got to save some money. That's a must. Saving is a must. You, It's no excuse. It's a method called pay yourself first. Once you get your paycheck, this is what I want you to do. Do this for me. Do this for your boy Ray, man. And how the fuck I'm going to lose. Listen. Because if you do this, you ain't going to lose. So listen. This is what I want you to do. Every check. You told them something. Right, you making all these excuses. Oh, I need this. I got to pay my bills. I got to do this. You got to pay yourself first. You important. You this. You running. You, you the important one. You got to pay yourself first. Forget all them bills. Forget everything. You got to pay yourself first. And... Don't get me wrong, you have to pay your bills, but you gotta get in your mindset that you come first. You come first, so do this for me. Start off slow, just save $5 every single week for the whole year. And if you feel more confident, just save $10 for me every single time you get paid. Just do that for me, let's do the math. We're gonna do $10 times four, you get paid four times. So that's $40 times 12 times 40 times 12, let's see what that is. That's $480. Oh, well, Ray, that's not a lot of money. $480 is not a lot of money. Okay, $400 is a lot of money because from me being around people, it's a lot of people like, yo, cash out me this, cash out me that. Some people don't even have no money after they get paid. So f from going to $0 to, to let me cash, can you cash out me this? Can you Apple pay me this to next week? To four hundred eight to having four hundred and eighty dollars in your saving at the end of the year, that's good to me. Remember, man, when you was a baby, what you did? Did you just get up and straight um, just straight walking? No, you crawl first. You gotta take baby steps. That's another thing. If you never want to go broke, be patient. Don't just think. This was one of my problems. When I used to get money, I used to think like, dang, I'm going to stack everything. I gotta stack everything. You really, you, you, it's impossible to stack everything unless like you debt free, you, you have like less bills. It's impossible to stack everything. Once I learned that, like, um, I could just save like little by little. That's when my money just went up here. It went from like right here to way up here. Like now I'm just chilling. I'm not rich at all. I don't feel like I'm in a great spot where I want to be, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. So yeah, so if you wanna be, if you never wanna go broke, you wanna have you some money saved over, number one, this is what I want y'all to do, please, for me, track your income. Um, on your phone, you don't have to go do none of them special apps, just download the notes apps, the note app. I don't know how it is on Android, um, right there, that little note app, you know what it is, um, notes. It's probably, I'm pretty sure Android got it too. Actually, I do have an Android phone just like this year, a little Android phone for my one business. Um, download the apps, put on there, list down your bills, your phone bill, just list down all your expenses. expenses. And then after that, you should uh, just like, if you're trying to save money, just subtract the ones that you trying to save on. Basically get them, stop buying unnecessary stuff. Get that bar out of here. We're going to, if you're going to go to the bar, just go like once. If you're going to drink alcohol, just drink. You have a reason to drink. 
Because that's my problem too. I want to drink every weekend. Some people drink every day. Have a reason to drink. Drink when it's the time to celebrate. We got to get it together, man. Some of us too old and to be broke, man. But yo, I'm out, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you got any info, I mean, if you have any questions, get in my comment section. I got you, man. I'm trying to get, I want to get everybody. I want to share this information. I want to get people right if I can. And that's what I'm going to do because this is the page. This is the channel. How the fuck I'm going to lose? How the fuck we going to lose? I'm out. Subscribe.